I think it's called the British Batus, B-A-T-U-S. Basically, it's in the Suffield uh, range, about two and a half, three hours from my house. Uh, the British go out there and train. In fact, I think the Brits have more tanks out there than the Canadian Armed Forces have. I could be mistaken, but anyway, this is going to be set in the mid-80s with a, uh, a Chieftain, which I'll roll in later. But uh, like I say, this is Accurate Armor's Ferret. I have had this kit built for, oh no, I shouldn't say built. I should say I have had this kit half built since about 2003. Yeah. Ah, I don't like, I don't like, um, I hate using super glue, so resin kits are kind of a challenge for me anyway. This one turned out not too shabby. A little bit of a wobble there. But I did find some uh, find some pictures of the uh, of these things on site. Now I see I'm going to have to add some markings. I forgot to add the clear orange and red markings on the back. But yeah, um, painted up in to me a, a mix of uh, dark green and NATO green just to give it a little bit of uh, of uh, variation and tonal colors. Uh, shot up with some dust to make it dusty. A few pigments here and there. The red is uh, Vallejo's flat red, and the decals are pulled off of, well, I don't know, I think it was a dragon, uh, probably from dragon from a Russian kit, and then the um, Union Jacks from, well, wherever. It's always good to keep your old decals, guys, for stuff like this when they don't come with anything. But there you have it, guys, Accurate Armor's uh, uh, ferret. It's super detailed. Uh, the castings and moldings are just superb really nice crisp detail I can't say it was a fun build it was a challenge for me but we got it done and uh, there you have it thanks for watching guys take care later